Cause you never know what tomorrow brings in this crazy life Hey, this life, this life, this life, this life hey. And I'm thankful, even when they say I'm so guys, we are X here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your very own mods server. So you can play with your friends, but with mods. That's awesome, right? So first of all, go to this website called files.minecraft4.net. Once you do, just uh, put it on your desktop and create a new folder called for server or whatever you want. So once you do that, just open up the installer. Um, so you, yeah, from the website you can just install, download the installer or the installer win for windows anything you want you know and uh, basically then install an installer for 1.8 once you do that uh, just open up the installer and click on install server click the three dots right here and go to your desktop and select your full server folder and click open once you do just click ok and it's gonna install some file i already have them installed for your sake so after that just uh, double click the for universal.jar okay and you need to have java installed that's important okay so uh, it's gonna create some new files now and we're gonna wait for it and it's gonna open up the console too so let's wait for it and i'll be back when i'm done welcome back guys so as you can see it says you need to agree to the uli in order to run the server so let's stop the server by just crossing it out right now and go to uli.txt and type in um true okay and place false with true and save the file once you do just run the forge uh, universal.jar again and it's gonna create more files all right so it's let's run it and i'll be it's gonna open up the console now so let's uh wait for it uh come on man so it's now it's gonna start uh, preparing the spawn area so I think so so yes I'll be back when I uh, I'm done okay so when it's, start, when it's done preparing the spawn area bye welcome back guys so as you can see it's done now so what you want to do is now is type in star okay but that's what you want to do and type in enter and it's gonna close this console right here uh, once you do that just go search on your operating system and type in CMD so by your operating system, uh, operating system I mean like on, on whichever operating system you are. If you're on a Mac, you probably know how to search. So, but on Windows 10, it's simple. And uh, open up CMD by typing in CMD and pressing enter. Then type in IP config, okay? Uh, not IP config, just IP config, okay? Once you do that, um, now you have to see which, uh, what kind of network you're using. So you're using, I'm using wireless uh, network right now. So I'll take the wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi. If you're using um, LAN, take the Ethernet cable, uh, the Ethernet connection. Okay. So once you do that, just uh, see, uh, check this uh, IPv4 address for your wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi. Mine is 192.168.1.13. Okay. So once you do that, all you need to do is minimize this window and go to uh, and open it this server.property file up which, you, which was created before and in uh, in front of server-ip put that number in so it is this okay once you do that just go down and turn online mode to false so your cracked minecraft friends can join and you yourself can even join okay once you do that um, go to max players and type in 9 uh, I mean type in what, uh, whatever a number you want for max player but I'll just use 9001 because it's over 9000 okay so once you do that um, you need to remember this number right here 25565 and then just save this file alright once you close this file uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, basically drag your mod in but not right now okay so first of all uh, run the server again and it's gonna open up the console right in front of your eyes okay so wait it is again it's gonna open up oh, come on why is it taking so long man my computer is so slow I need, I need more RAM here it is so first of all uh, it's gonna load this one area but it's gonna be way faster see 2 seconds compared to last time it was 48 seconds so um, now what you wanna do is just close it again by tapping and stop in the command window or just crossing it and then go, going to mods and dragging in your mod now one important uh, point right here that uh, that you really need to have the client forge installed uh, forge client installed and also uh, you need to have the same mod installed on your client 
and also the flare burst, so it actually works. So yeah, that, uh, and now you're pretty much done. So I'll be back when I've uh, my uh, open up Minecraft and the server. Okay, so yeah, peace. Welcome back, bros. So as you can see, uh, the, the server is open right now, and also Minecraft. So as you can see, that Bion the Plenty is also installed. Now what you want to do is go to multiplayer. Okay, let's delete this server right here. And now you want to add your server in. So name it whatever you want, okay? So just I um, will name it my server. And for here, this is the important part, okay? So go to your command prompt again and note your IPv4 uh, address down again. So mine was 192.168.1.3. Okay, and if you click done, it's gonna ping. And yes, as you can see, it's a compatible force model loader so model server for mod present and 9001 players. This proof is working. Okay, I don't need to go into the server. It's gonna take a long time to load. Okay, but for your friends, what do you need to do? I'll tell you. Okay, so let me open this um, notepad file. Now, if you go to your web browser and go to Google and type in IP address or just IP, okay, then it's gonna show you a series of numbers. It's gonna be that, it's gonna be your public IP address. Do not give it to anyone except your friend, okay? So it's gonna be something like 5.167.86.7. Stuff like that, okay? So it doesn't matter, but it's gonna be a longer IP address than that, and a, um, a different IP address. So once you do, uh, once you have that, just copy it into a notepad file, put a colon after that, and type in 25565 from before. Remember, in the server properties file, and then copy this number right here. Uh, but remember, this should be your public IP address. So let me just write it down. Brackets public IP address, but without brackets. So do that what you wanna give to, give to your friend, okay? So, uh, give to your friend. So once you give them, uh, give that to your friend, and your friend will have to write that down in here, the server address. Once that do, and uh, that will actually work. But if you don't know how to install Forge uh, for your client, there will be, should be a card as, uh, up here suggesting the video. And if you don't know how to, po and yes, you also need to port for port forward your server if, you, if your uh, friend need to join. Then. Um, if you want to do that, then there should be a card up here uh, suggesting that video if you don't know how to put forward. So, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let's see if we can get 15 likes on this video. Um, uh, consider leaving a like and uh, subscribing if this helped you. And uh, you will see me in the next video. Peace.